Okay, hi guys. I have a quick fix video for you guys who are playing God of War Ragnarok on the RTX 3050 4GB VRAM laptops. And uh, the game came out yesterday on the 19th. I'm filming this on the 20th. And when the game came out yesterday, I tried the game and the game crashed to a VRAM error. There's two errors that you might get. One, there's a VRAM error. The second one will be like, oh, your driver is outdated, even though you're using the latest driver. But it all comes back to the VRAM being under 6 gigabyte. God of War Ragnarok requires 6 gigabyte VRAM minimum, and the RTX 3050 is 4 gigs. I'm using the Acer Nitro RTX 3050 4 gigabyte, and I saw. I saw where uh, on Nexus mods, on Nexus mods, there is a VRAM requirement bypass for God of War Ragnarok. It came out about eight hours after the game got released yesterday, and when I tried it, it worked. You know, and quite a few people know about it. Not everyone, because quite a few of you guys have been commenting on my my uh, my previous videos where I test Ragnarok on this Nitro 3050. And uh, you were saying, how do you get the game to run? And I, 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 I responded and I said, there's a, there's a VRAM fix. And there's like, how, they're like, how do you get it? You know? Okay, so on Nexus mod, there's a VRAM fix for the game. Basically, you just, you just extract it and put the .dll in the game folder where the God of War launcher is, and just open it, and the game runs. But I'm going to show you what happens when when you open it without without the without the the VRAM fix. Right now it's installed in my game, so I'm going to delete it. Delete. I'm going to delete my uh what is it called? I'm going to delete my I'm going to delete the the user preferences file. This is like brightness and whatever and whatever. The game seems to crash every time you like try to open it. So in order to make the game open with the mod, you have to delete it. User preferences. I go ahead and delete that as well. It's gone. Okay, so now the mod is not inside not inside the game. The mod is not inside the game. So let me open it. I might have to restart because this sometimes it hard crashes the the driver, the video driver. So, anyways, I'm going to show you what happens when you try to open it without without the mod installed. Okay. Okay. So first first one, GPU driver update recommended. Okay. Click OK. And now the game is going to crash. It says graphic driver device crashed. Wow. If I try to press OK, it won't close. Basically what it did, it crashed my graphic driver. So and if and if I try to close it, it won't close. So there's only one thing left for me to do. It won't close, so I have to restart. The only way to fix it, to close the, the window, is to restart. That's so serious it is, you know? It crashes the video driver. It, it, it crashes the gra the graphic card, dude, so I have to restart. Oh, it closed. Nice. It closed. It usually doesn't close. <laughs> I have to restart, but now it closed. Okay, so that's what happens when you try to open the game without the mod installed. So to get this mod, just go to Nexus and just download it, extract it. I'll try to I'll try to pin the link in the top comment for you guys. I don't want to put it in the description because YouTube don't like uh, links. So I'm going to pin it in the top comment. Just go there, go to Nexus, download it, paste it in the game folder, and just open it. Okay, so when you download the mod, you'll see two things. You'll see like a license text. Eh, that's nothing. You'll see a you'll see a D you'll you will see a DXGI.dll. You want to take that and you pull it to the game folder. Boom. Drop it there. Boom. And now you run the game. And now you will see that the game works. The game works. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing, dude. It works. You know? 
So when you go to the main menu, you will see a compiling shader on your bottom right. I would I would advise you to wait until that compiling shader is done before you start the game. Because if you don't wait, then you may get some nasty stuttering in-game. But if you wait for the shaders to be compiled, then your game should be silky smooth. It's a good thing when games comp compile shaders. Because then you don't have those pesky stutters, you know? So yeah, this is how you do it, and this is how you get this game to run on on the 4 GB RTX 3050 laptops. Would this run on... I am not sure if this fix would work for, uh, I don't know, maybe like a GTX card, maybe below 4 gigs, dude. <laughs> I don't know, dude, some like 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 a 980 or so. I, I, I don't know if it would work for, for something like that, uh, that's below 4 gigs. I know this works for the 3050 and when you go on Nexus site you will see three different versions of the fix. You will see one for the 1060, one for the RTX 3050, that's the one I'm using, and one for the 4060 I think, I don't remember, one for one of the 40 series card. Go for the one with the 3050 because you're using 3050 like I am. So just extract it, put it in the game folder and just open it. And it works just like that. So yeah, this is how you get God of War Ragnarok to work on the RTX 3050 4 gigabyte laptop cards. And yeah, this is how you do it. Okay, bye guys.